Oh. Well, uh, thank you for uh, thank you, ladies, uh, and thank you for the, all, all the audience. Uh, this uh, was the first round, which was uh, at the Member of the Parliament, Harry Tolvanen, and uh, was on Lukio point of view. Now we can have a, uh, the program goes uh, so that we have a 30 minute panel discussion, and then we will be we will continue by having the settlement society point of view and then the business point of view, which is followed up by, an, by another 30-minute uh, panel discussion. But uh, I'm pretty certain that you, got, uh, you have a lot of questions for the, for the ladies, but why don't we start by a round of introduction? And uh, I, I, there are actually some, even, uh, even you who are standing as candidates in the coming up elections. Johan, yes. please. Yes, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Johanna Sydenma and I am a working in the school and also a city councillor in Helsinki and I have been, uh, this is my third time that I'm in uh, uh, how do you say, it's too nice one. <laughs> yes, election uh, and uh, I wish to get now straight to city council because I've been in uh, Eight years I have been first like a runner-up and then I've uh, um, carried on. So last what, last year I have been a councillor actually, and uh, I'm teaching health and uh, sports here in Warsaw and Lukio, and and I think uh, what Katja just told about this um, Luva system is very very good thing because it's very important to uh, prepare also immigrants to study in Lukio. And I have some experience of the students here in our school because they are very active in sports. They want to come to our voluntary courses in sports and uh, I have met uh, the students and they, they come to play football and basketball and uh, I think it's very great that, that they want to join us. And uh, for me, uh, all the well-being of uh, small children and youth is the most important thing what is in my mind in, in the election and, and uh, that's the aim I'm, I'm going to carry on with that working. All right, thank you. Anna. Yes. Next one, please. My name is Jana Lahtinen. I come um, from Merirastela area myself too. I work in Merirastela Alaste. I've been working there for 15 years. Uh, it's a very a multicultural school. Uh, about 50% of the students are from all over the world. Uh, most of them from Somalia, but also from Russia, Estonia, and many other countries. And we have um, lots of working people from different countries as well as uh, assistants and the cleaning people. All the teachers are Finnish, but uh, some of the assistants are. Um, um, are teachers, but uh, in Finland they are not able to work as teachers but as assistants. So, this is my experience from 15 years. Okay, I'm uh, Catherine Marine, I'm a French Finnish uh, mixture. I was born in 1963. As in like Obama's life, black men were not allowed in, in Finland at that time. So my father didn't get the permit to stay and he was obliged to go back to France. So I stayed here and at the age of five I went to Paris to study. So my Finnish mother wanted me to have a nice French education. So I went in a nurse school in Paris and I was educated with that. <laughs> with that <laughs> written, all this stuff. So. Uh, and as I was considered as black, so uh, I was not like an angel, so I was suffering a lot. So then uh, uh, when I came back to Finland, so I, sta uh, I started to work as a French teacher, uh, teaching the grown-ups in General Pista Arbis and French Embassy Cultural Center. Then um, I had to do a lot of many uh, different works, so I, I was at that time applying for I remember eight schools all together at the same day, and um, finally um, they gave me back my Finnish citizenship because I was French citizenship. 
had only the French citizenship. At that time, you were not allowed it to have uh, two citizenship at the same time. So, and when the, the police was asking me uh, to go back to the place I was born, and they were asking me where I was born, it was Helsinki, so I was going back in uh, half second to Helsinki, and I was back, and they were obliged to give me the stamps. So, but uh, by the time the work was mostly gone, so I had to apply for another work. So it was very difficult to work. And so I did some other works. And finally, I ended to meet Jana uh, last year, was it, or two years ago. And uh, at that time, I was coming back from France because in the meantime, I went back to France and to French West Indies, where my family is from. So I stayed there in uh, 1998 to 2000. Then I was seven years in Paris, where, where my Finnish mother was living. And then I came back to Finland four years ago, and then I couldn't work as a teacher. So I went to work, as Jana said, uh, I was not cleaning the school, but I was an assistant. And uh, some teachers were wondering why I was uh, able to turn all the Finnish uh, verbs to the right temp. And uh, finally, I needed to replace some teachers, and then I, now I'm replacing teachers. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, Catherine. It's more the next person. I have so, something to tell more. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have kids. So, uh, and one of my children, I have four daughters. And uh, when we came back, my daughters were, um, now they are 11 and 17. And uh, the 17 year old had some problems and still had the problems because when we came back, she was 14 years old. So she couldn't get to any school. So she was in Puki, Naki. Uh, at the, uh, how do you say that, Valmentara, Valmestara. And I, uh, and the younger one, the blonde one, because uh, they are all uh, like, looking like Italian style, but the last one is blonde, because my mother is from London. So, and the last one, uh, they could not understand that she is not Finnish, so she had problems to get to the French Finnish school in Montevideo. And she cannot, uh, she cannot really, uh, she's not good in English, she's not good in Finnish, she's not good in French nowadays. But the 17 year old now is in the Ukimai Media Rokio and uh, she's still having some problems. So if she had known about your school prior, she would have been here. Yeah. So, but we didn't get the information. Okay, that's for me. <laughs> Okay, I forgot to introduce myself when I was speaking. My name is Katja Mantestrem and I work here at Vuotan and Lupion. I'm a pro the project manager for this, this project, Lua. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm, I'm a social psychologist. <laughs> Very well. So let's have our first um, audience question. Is there any, anybody who has anything in mind? I think there is actually one guy there, Noor. Can you come around this part and so I, 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 you can ask the panelists a, a question about education? And for video purposes, do you mind coming uh, behind the ladies? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Take your time. So, Noor, why don't you come behind the ladies, introduce your, yourself, and uh, uh, you have had a question about, the, uh, about education. Please. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, when I was coming to Finland uh, one year ago, and uh, studying, I, uh, I was born again in this country. That's, that's, that's the important thing of the education. The language, example, the language, is very important. That's why everyone who comes in this country, adult, child, they must, they must born again. And uh, I'm the one of the father. Who have six children. I live in Espo. We have good friends with Osi. Also, we have good friends all Kokomos here. <laughs> also, we have good friends all in Kato Peoples. Also, we have good friends in the, the person who wants to change. Who want to change in Finland. Some young people who uh, been in training in military, they ask me sometimes how the black Finn is looking. <laughs> That's the wonderful, you know, when you have seen the hard winter, some young immigrant who has uh, Nonsu, maybe Imatra, 
maybe Rabanda, Kodio. That's why I'm ready to feel we need education, like me and other workers. We need education. What kind of education we need? We need the history in Finland to understand how the Finland they defend in the Russia, how the Finland they can work the unity, how the Finland they can collect the fixations, how the people, the old people, they care. So we need education, and that's why our panel. All right, I think we have another audience question, so uh, don't be shy. All right, so why don't you tell your camera your name and, uh, and what was your question? Uh, my name is Walter Swanwell. Um, it seems as if there is a self introduction before preaching that part. Right? Uh, I seem to be very excited personally with the panelists and the way they put forth their premises, especially with the rich. Uh, academic substance which they started with. The subject is quite sensitive and uh, it has triggered a lot of expectation which I feel that uh, I'll be expecting more. Uh, again, uh, it is more important because they seem to be coming from diverse disciplines which can also really increase the awareness, especially this, this, this seminar. Uh, I left my country, Cameroon, here to Finland as a student. They are already credited with a lot of diversity in academia, from political science and law, from theology and uh, uh, doctor of philosophy. But then again, I think uh, one has to learn more because all I know is that I know nothing and the truth is always in front of us. But I think my first question actually, or my question will just go directly to the panelists that uh, within their experience from the various angles and their approach to what they have been doing, conscious of the fact that immigrants seems to be really the focus and of which question we are really expecting is like a connotation of integration not by changing my skin color, but like coming to my original uh, state of being and put in my output. Uh, I am here concerned about the idea whereby we struggle to see how this integration can be accepted where the idea of who I am and where I come from can be accepted. Uh, being here for a quite a long time and seeing the transition of time to now, do you see that there can be some hope ahead? Thank you. Accept, accepting diversity. From my point of view, from the Wasara Lukio, is of course that it's very hopeful. Uh, this kids here in Lukio, they live side by side together, not only side by side, but they build relationships to each other. And uh, that's uh, probably the most important thing that uh, even for my generation, uh, foreigners were foreigner. And now when you go here and see, you know, all, all different, uh, different colored people, and from different backgrounds living together and there's actually very little conflict and much more understanding that than generations before this generation. So I have huge hopes for, for this generation and when they're coming into politics, when they can go into being being uh, chiefs and, and, uh, and also employers. And so I, I believe, I really believe that it's, it's getting a lot, a lot better.